All right. What's up, people, man? I want to talk about this story out there in Florida where this guy was sentenced to life for his role in the impersonation of a police officer. But why wearing, you know, having the badge, wearing the uniform and also a fake squad car to pull women over and assault him. This fool has the audacity to act as if he wasn't given a fair trial and salute to the judge because I think this sentence that he received matches the crimes that he was pulling off. Peep this story on this fool. Evans pretended to be a police officer. He used a fake badge to target his victims nearly two years ago. In December, a jury convicted him of kidnapping and rape. And this morning, he learned his punishment. But before that happened, the defendant had a few things to say. And Fox 13's Gloria Gomez explains why Evans is now claiming he didn't get a fair trial. Even at his sentencing, Justin Evans remained defiant. It still was a conflict of interest. Evans blames his conviction in December on his public defender's illness. I do know I have the right to a healthy lawyer to be able to make cognitive decisions and use his professional judgment. In August of 2021, prosecutors say Justin Evans was driving around Tampa with a fake police badge and lights. The defendant pretended he was a police officer. He effectuated a traffic stop on a vehicle containing three women. One of those women says Evans ordered her out of the car and arrested her. He told me that I was under arrest because he found marijuana in the car. She says Evans handcuffed her and put her in the back of his car. He then drove her to an apartment complex where he raped her. Additional charges were filed against Evans when another alleged victim came forward after reading media reports and recognizing his car. This time, the crime was captured on surveillance video. Deputies say you see Evans driving a dark-colored Chevy Malibu, pretending to be a police officer, pulling over a woman near the corner of Brook Street North and Bush Boulevard East. The video shows him making her get out of the car and patting her down while her seven-year-old son was inside the car. He leaves a short time later. But it would be the charges against this victim that would seal Evans' fate. He was found guilty of sexual battery and kidnapping. The judge sentenced him to life in prison. All right, so there y'all hear it, man. And this is what I'm always talking about is the sucker-ass individual in society who can't get laid weird than a motherfucker that they this fool goes off pulling this shit off by dressing as a cop pulling women over arresting them and doing this type of shit and ain't no telling if there's more women out there this fool may have assaulted in this matter and forceful and forcefully raping them or whatever this fool was doing to other women but he was charged for doing that to a woman so it's probably a lot of cases. Probably food could be serial rapists out there. And maybe more women to come up or some women to stay quiet because they don't want to, you know, be embarrassed to have to have if it goes public or whatnot. But it's the sick, sinister motherfuckers we got in society and why you got to be observing this shit. Not to put fear because some people be like, oh, this is depressing. It's fearful, man. Cut that weak shit the fuck out. You just got to be situationally aware and continue to live your life. But watch fools and always be ready. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Just know what the fuck you're looking for. But enjoy yourself. There's a small percentage of people in society who are fuck, fucked up ass people who bring these negative aspects to the world. Uh, and they become magnified because of, you know, this type of behavioral psychopathic shit that you know can kind of really stir around fears in society but uh you just got to be be ready and it's 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 a small percentage of motherfuckers that are on that shit but uh that's all I got and also with people man y'all know the weird motherfuckers around you who are weird motherfuckers uh uh can't control themselves don't get laid and if there's stories of situations where women are taken advantage of psychopathic serial killing shit going on Motherfuckers, y'all know where the clues are. Y'all know weird people around y'all. Uh, just put the pieces together, man. But that's all I got. Peace.